Hello everyone and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, where I am joined as ever by the lovely Lady Shelab. Hello. Now, we do I have to offer a uh, small apology for yesterday's mm. video. It seems that uh, Lady Shelab's recording failed to start and we did not notice. So as a result, although you're already aware, I'm terribly sorry that you had to put up with me on both channels for a day, but uh, hopefully <laughs> that was better than not seeing what was going on at all if uh, you're only watching on Lady She Labs channel. But uh, we have made sure that everything is running as it should uh, already, so we should be able Definitely to... Definitely uh, recording this time. Yeah, go forward without too much in the way of shenanigans, maybe, possibly, hopefully. Right, okay, so what's the order of the day for today then, Lady She Lab? Uh... Horde night preparations. Uh, that's always a good start, I suppose. Yes. Uh, so Do we need to. I think we're pretty good though for horde night. Um, I would how are you for so, ammo? Yeah. Is one question though. Uh, that's always the worst question to ask. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not doing super duper great for ammo. I'll be honest with you. Um, I, have, uh... I mean, I've got three hundred and twenty-seven for my pistol, but that's the only thing I use. So I suppose you know it could be worse. Could be better, could be worse. I have 119 uh, for my AK, 68 for my pistol, 168 for my crossbow. Okay, well, it's not so bad. Um, um, I think this little area is actually pretty solid as far as us putting, putting items down. Um, I think this is about as big as I'm going to want it to be. Um, maybe have some rebar across there and have a, a second support stretch about here. That gives me one, two, three on this side, one, two, three on that side, and then the, uh, the supporting section. I'm going to have to pace this out just to make sure that it, it all lines up and it's going to be nice and symmetrical, but I think we're going to be going with something along these lines for our for the uh, area for our vehicles to to dock, if you like. Something about like that. Yeah, I think so. All right, so we're going to need a lot of clay soil to continue the work in here. But other than that, I think we're pretty solid, actually. All right, I can take the or go back out. Um, I need some fuel for that, way. Right, yeah. I'll take the auger back out and I'll go just dig another like 5,000 dirt or something. Yeah, sure. Sounds like a plan. I may actually. Oh, really? Did I just punch a rebar? I did. And you know what's super annoying about that? Is now to pick that rebar up, I'd have to repair it. And in fact, to upgrade it, I'd have to repair it. God ah, damn it. Um, but I don't think we're going to need these rebar sections because I'm going to create some sort of uh, aesthetically pleasing lip along the edges, even though we don't strictly need it. Uh, I think that would be quite nice or the same. Um, on this side, I think we're going to have probably pillars to support this. Maybe the same on this side. I'm not really sure about that yet. I could do the arches again, but I think we're, do, we're overusing the arches a bit. Um, yeah, I don't think just that's slightly. necessary on that side, honestly. Uh, yeah, I think this might be all right in a general sense. That said, I could... I am looking entirely. forward to the new system of block placement where you just you don't have to craft the particular block. Oh you yes, I hadn't actually mentioned it. that. Yeah, yeah. Have you not? Yeah, I thought no. you. Yeah, but maybe you, you as, as she loved is mentioning there, you simply shape the block. You, you all blocks like for example, all rebar will just be this. But when you go to place it, much like if any of you have played Imperium Galactic Survival, when you go to place it down, you can decide the shape that the block should take. Which is a really, really cool way of doing it, in my opinion. A super cool way of doing it. Right, I need some uh, rebar pillars. I think uh, four in total. And we can only get two. Damn, Dragon Blast! Oh well. I'm gonna head to head up then and grab me some dirt. Uh, the auger is probably the better option for that. Um, tools. One so there orgies. is a, an or there should be two augers, so I've got yeah. one of them. I've got the level mm -hmm. two one. That's fine. I'll head out and grab some dirt from the regular dig spot. Should be okay. I also need to work on my horde defense because 
whereas we've done all this work on your side, I've not actually done any work on mine going through its uh, fancy properties. Well, there's like a thousand mistake. cobblestone rocks just sat in the building chest that you could uh, do something with to make it better. Not working on it now. There's getting this whole set up. Um, probably something like that would be good enough. And then we can have some stairs leading up. Have I got enough to do the other side? I wonder. Also, where? Why have I been? Fairly certain it's in the wrong spot. That looks good. Uh, yeah, I should have enough metals to set all of this up without too much worry, but we'll see. Oh, does that need to go down? Um, no, I should be able to flatten out that land around there. There we go. That's no bad. food on me. It's uh, terrible. I must have put it somewhere. There we go. That will do. Sort of. Um, I'm going to need to upgrade this right away. I, I had just enough rebar on me to get this going, but I'm not sure I'm going to have enough concrete. I might, but we'll have to see. There we are. Kind of a, a smaller design over she labs, but it should be sufficient. Perfect. Now I just need, I've got cobble, so I can go ahead and how many ladders do we need? One, two, three, two, six, 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 six. Blackstone stairs. Perfect. There we are. All right, I'll grab my bike. I'll go out and grab uh, a bit of dirt. Flatten out this uh, ground. The ground doesn't quite look right, so I'm going to use hay bales to encourage it to look right. Ah, that is my business. It's a bit of snow gap there. All right. I'll be able to fix that in a bit. You still trying to fix where the old wall was? Uh, no. We're around where the, the steps are, the land isn't quite flat, but I should be able to fix that with a bit of, uh, bit of effort. Shouldn't be a big issue. There we go. I am going to need one piece of uh, snow block, but we have got those in the, the base. So that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, four arches. Can't get by without the arches. It wouldn't be one of my builds without arches. That would not. I found out a secret of this game. What? Trees do not have roots. That is. Why is that a secret? Well, because normally they're hidden in the dirt, but when you dig it out, it, you find out the secret that the trees do not have roots. Oh, Therefore, right. this must be an alien planet. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. I can't think of any examples of uh, terrestrial trees that don't have roots, but I, I think we can forgive it these small mistakes. Maybe. <laughs> Apparently, Shilab, no. Shilab, Empress thumbs down due to the trees without roots. You had one chance game, you flubbed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go and get some birds. Be right back. I'm going to totally be lazy and take my uh, bike out to get it, of course. That's enough for me. Right. Point having a bike if you don't use it. That is fair. Okay. I actually think my steel shovel may be faster than this order. You reckon? I mean, I'm not running out of stamina, so there's that, but... This is taking a while. I'm not having to swing and things, but yeah, I, I think that maybe my uh, steel shovel would, would be gathering this dirt a little bit faster. We'll have to see about that, actually. Yep. It's, I slow, am... it's slower, but it gets more at a time. Oh, does it? I don't know. I mean, it shouldn't get like more at a time. This, no, the steel shovel, I mean, maybe gets more at a time then. It's hard to know. I'll use all of the fuel here. And we'll come back with however much I've I manage to I've run out of fuel gather. as well. I, I took a thousand fuel out and I've run through all of it to get 
three thousand dirt. Oh, I only brought uh, enough to get uh, two full refills, so that's two hundred uh, twice, so four hundred. Sorry. Um, How much so, fuel do we have total? Do we because um, you got gas barrels as well, don't you've you? You've got something like thirty-three gas barrels, so we should be good for a while. Okay. I don't think it's something we need to worry about for a little bit. Yes, I am 100% undermining this area. I'm hoping that the snow will just collapse on its own. And I won't have to go through the rigmarole of digging it away. That's the end of that. Now, just because I want to know, for sure. You're going to do some testing. Because I'd be very Two interested digs. in the results. At uh, power digging. I was using the wrong button. Yeah, my steel shovel will, will get everything out with two digs. An entire block, whereas the auger takes many, many strikes for the fuel. Takes about eight or nine, doesn't it? Yeah. Whereas well, two strikes with my shovel. But again, not using up stamina to use the auger. And that really can't be uh, understated how big of a difference that makes. Uh, that will collapse eventually. Right, heading back to base now. Right. Um, I said I would get well. 5,000 dirt, so I will get 5,000 dirt. Last piece. No, I need 12. This. What last piece can have? Dirt forest ground. I mean, I guess I could. Forest ground. Make one of these. Me too, then. And then I need to come back and find where all my hobo stew went. There you go. Um, God, how much concrete? Not that much. Certainly not enough to completely finish off all of the, uh, the stairs around here, but eh, enough to do a little bit of it. That's good enough for me for now. Okay, so that's sorted. Let's get back down there with all of this dirt there. So, we wanted a lot of clay soil in here. Yes. There we go. Well, that'll start to uh, filter through. And again, hopefully. And there we go. Oh, we didn't hand in our uh, quest. Not yet, no. This should only require one. Why is this not allowing me to do? So I'll try that again. There we are. That, that was very bizarre why I couldn't stack those up there. Oh, well. Right. Do you want to go in uh, hand in the quest? Yeah, in just a second, because I was going to get 5,000 uh, clay. Thank you. There we go. This is going to look quite nice when it's done, I think. Very, very nice. Let's get some more cement mixed up. There we are, 5,000. Okay, I'm going to head and uh, head over to the. I mean, yeah, the traders. Trader. Drop off everything I don't need with me. Includes, well, no, I'll keep the core hammer, I suppose. You know what we didn't do to start off this episode, though? We didn't eat properly. Oh, Lord. oh no. Yeah, I noticed I that because now I've got terrible stamina because I've lost all my hobo stews as well, or eaten them. I'm not sure which. I think I ate a lot after I died. Never fear. I have eaten and drunk. Do you want me to bring you over a hobo stew and some. Uh, Water? Yes, please. No, I've got water. Some tea, yeah, sorry. I don't have. Yeah, tea would be great. Do we have any spray? Yes, we do. Okay. 
coming. Gotta keep the uh, the engines fueled. We do. Right. Heading over to you now. Now I'm not too fussed about um, improving the um, ramp leading to the drawbridge, simply because if uh, the the outside has been clad in concrete, and that's all you need, because that's realistically the only place the zombies are going to walk. They're not going to walk up the drawbridge. Uh, sorry, up the ramp. There's no particular reason for them to do that. Yeah. Oh, I see one left. So you still have... What? Thought you looked like a runner. There we go. Sorted. Sorted. Stupid barrel. On that note, I probably should get a bunch of uh, iron arrows going or steel arrows for our crossbows. Yeah. So, How are you doing for feathers this? on that? Are we quite low? We're always low. Um, I suspect we're probably getting low, yeah. We'll see. We have great prices. I'll well, close that so that we're not going to have to worry about anything. They're Ooh, trying to break in. One. You can hear the uh, banging. Sorry, what were you yeah. saying to you, love? Pipe bombs or iron gloves? Uh, pipe bombs, probably. Do you have any jobs? Clear zombies. Do you think you can help Thank me you very with much. Problem? Godspeed. I'm going to hand these in. Right, first. Great job, uh, I'll be danged. You really managed to pull through in a pinch. Thanks for killing the zombies and retrieving the sprites. Is what I need. Uh, Combat with steroids, mollies. I'll take the mollies. Um, uh, more mollies. I'll definitely take those. There we go. Right. Do you have any jobs? Ha ha! Tier three. Yes. Ooh, nice. Right, clear zombies or fetch and clear? We're going to go for fetch and clear because it gives a lot more. But they tend to be harder. Mm -hmm. one, of the vo uh, one of the boys were being overrun. Uh, one of the boys was being overrun by zombies during a supply run. They told me exactly where to find the shipment at House Old Bungalow 01. Go slaughter the zombies and retrieve the goods. We're not going to be doing that one today. <laughs> no, no, no. But... we won't do any on Horde Night. The reward for that is 13,000 experience, plus 1,250 for a bonus, and then 1,530 dukes to do it. Very, very nice. Uh, can I see your inventory, though? Because I've got things to sell. Actually, I've got some... <laughs> well, I've got a lot of points at this point. Um, you liar. You don't get new goods daily. Yeah, I know. Fibs! Um, better barter... The, the, the secret stash will show us even better stuff. Let's have a quick look. What's in your secret stash right now? Muffled connectors to make your armor a little bit quieter. A level 6 shotgun. Auto turret, shotgun turrets. Ammo. Nothing nothing really amazing in there, I'll be honest. Uh, some cement, sawn off barrel. Yeah, no, nothing fantastic there. If so, got what you're looking for, we can get I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pump up my uh, my ability to buy and sell a little bit better. I have to get intellect level 10 to get the highest tier. And that's a little bit far out of my range. Um, Could have maybe sunk some points into getting extra dupes for completed quests and three additional choices for quest rewards, but I don't care too much for that right now. I, I just bought instead. Perception 9. Wow. That is actually genuinely quite amazing. Because I want um, Perception 10, and then I want Boom Headshot 5. <laughs> yeah. I've got to get Perception up to 7 to be able to get Boom Headshot 4. Which I would very much like to do. Unless, it's going to cost me a bunch more points than I've got to get that. So what I might go for right now is maybe another point in Gunslinger. Increased rate of fire for handguns. Reload them 25% faster. Critical damage. Five successive hits in a short time causes critical damage. Might be nice. Nice. Uh, there's explosive weapons as well. 
Mm, maybe. Movement penalty reduced when reloading would be very nice. I'm not going to lie on that one. That would genuinely be awesome. Um, Need assistance. Or ping tolerance. Reduce HP loss by 15%. 60% less chance to get stunned. Uh, that one's pretty nice as well. Let's, let's be honest. They are all amazing at this point. So it's hard to pick. But I think I'm going to go for pain tolerance. That reduction in, in stun chance, because I'm still getting stunned here and there, and, and also reducing mm. overall HP lost is huge. It's a, it's a big, big thing for us. Yeah. And for me. Right, let's have a quick sell then. Get rid of these first. Dunk, 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 dunk. All of them, please. Oh, damn it. Gunslinger. Right, gonna try and sell the pistols. Yes, one sold. Excellent. Gonna sell a level four fire axe for 232. Yes. All right, a level four pistol. No, doesn't want it. That's a shame. But we've got. I managed to get 21 Molotov cocktails from uh, the trading with her uh, for the quest rewards. Well, that's pretty nice. Yeah, that'll that'll actually be really nice. Okay, ready to head out. Yes. Let me look on my map where that quest is. Um, well, it's back down in the Badlands, unfortunately, to the far south. Ah, I got a funny feeling I know exactly which house it's going to be as well. Yeah. Based on what I was looking at when we were last in there. It looked like it was possibly going to be one of the uh, large lab houses. Those are oh, okay. always fun. Yeah, but it'll it take like a whole it? episode to do. How about, did you did you bring me my bacon and eggs you were gonna bring me? Yeah. Oh, I uh. didn't bring you bacon and eggs. I brought you hobo stew. Hobo stew would be fine. Food. Here you go. Thank There's you. Seventies and two hobo stews. Oh, amazing. I'm gonna eat them right up. Okay, enjoy. I'm gonna be off to get more building done in preparation for the fortnights. Uh, I'll also do a bunch more smelting, hopefully. Get uh, a chunky bit of that work sorted. <laughs> because that is now uh, grassy ground, that's forest ground, it can now sustain grass, so we'll have like little, uh, little shrubberies growing there. How lovely. Enjoy. What are you off to do, Sheila? I don't know. I missed the base completely. It didn't like render properly for me. Oh, <laughs> right. Or I wasn't looking at it right. I'm not sure which. A little from column A, little from column B, probably. Mm-hmm. Right, pink dye. That's not too bad. If I could get rad remover, it would be amazing, but... <sighs> that... Could have spent it in, get it in getting that, but I don't know. I don't think we've got enough zombies coming at us with enough frequency right now to make that worthwhile. Yeah. I think for the time being... You get one or two per big horde of zombies, don't you? Of the, uh... Yeah, right now. But eventually, so... like, every single one will be like that. Yeah, eventually. Let's get some of this going on. Make concrete Work out what I want to do. Just sand. Well, I'm currently focusing on getting our little area set up so that we can have... Uh, well, I'm going to need more stone, for one thing. Quite a lot more stone, actually. Um, but... I've got 700 on me. Oh, yes. Go down and um, turn the sand and, and cement that's in the mixer into concrete mix, if you could. That'd be grand. Uh, I'm going to need a lot more iron bars. Oh, we've actually got loads of stone up here as well. I'm going to pop that in here. More iron bars. 39, I will accept. Go ahead. Right, back out we go. Now, one thing I probably should have done ahead of time, or I left them there, is replace the floor directly beneath the pillars with... Flagstone. That was a bit silly of me not to have done. 
My bad. It shouldn't shouldn't be something we can't fix. Okay, I'm gonna need that. How do you make cement? Uh, in the cement mixer, you need sand, stone, and cement mix. Oh right, the oh cement. Sorry, what am I talking about? Concrete mix is made with cement, um, small stones and sand in the cement mixer. Cement itself is made in the forge by basically baking small stones. Ah. Hence why we need so many small stones. Yes, so exactly. We're using them in lots of different processes. Uh, processes. Uh, right. Do we have any forged steel? Uh, no, but we could probably make some if you want it. Yeah, because I would like to repair my steel. No, we do have some. Or well, nine. Okay. Sorry, I was, th I was thinking you were talking more in large quantities. No, no, just, just for repairing. Because like yep. you were saying, like, the auger doesn't... I don't know if the, the steel pickaxe is any worse than the auger either, you know? It might not be. Maybe so it's five it hits to get through a piece of rock. Go there. And the auger seems like it's probably better at, at digging rock. Mm. That would be my guess, but I couldn't be certain about it. I think it probably is. Don't seem to need those right now. Right, in terms of uh, arrows, I'm going to need a lot of steel arrowheads. I can make 158. Sure. Let's get those going. We'll need to smelt more iron... Uh, uh, smelt down more iron in the, in the forge before we can make anything more than that. Now then, see the thing is, could make this a bit better looking, maybe. I'm wondering about that one, because we don't technically need it to be cement in here. Let me have a no. look at my flagstone options. If I'm thinking something like this would be good enough. Let's make 30 of these. What are you doing? I'm just going to redesign the connection. Uh, the way I was going to connect up to the, the wall in here. Though if I do this now I need to fix out the cobble behind it first. There we are. Yeah, I don't see a reason why we can't do it like this. I heard a witch, but it sounded kind of like she was dying on spikes. She may well be dying on the spikes outside, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I think this looks a lot better, actually. Than just like large um, reinforced concrete walls. There we are. Out on this side, I will have it full concrete going the, the length, but on the inside, I don't think we need that. And that being said, I could have a lip out here. Hmm. I've got another 900 stones for you. I do for think you. we want that one to be concrete, but perhaps these ones could do without being concrete. That one definitely. Ah, oh, oh, damn it. Of course it didn't go the way I wanted it to. So now I've got to rotate all the way through everything. Always frustrating when this happens. I know, you've got to go through yeah. like about 16 different iterations of faces it yeah. can. Oh. Exactly. Feel your pain. I think perhaps having that as an actual wall, though, would not be a bad idea. Oops, wrong thing. Put 
Oops. Aha! I remember this time. Yeah, I dropped off my flag somewhere. What a dirt I am. Should have kept hold of that until I was certain I didn't need any more. Three, one, two, three. Oh no! I've made this area symmetrical. Ah, what a fool I am! No! What? Thankfully, these Do parts you know will be okay. to make it symmetrical? I'm gonna come out and have a look now, I think. No, it's, I can't put the torch in the right place. If it's purely symmetrical, I mean, obviously. I see. Okay, that'll, that'll do a bit better. Um, once these sections are, are finished, um, and once I've uh, built this all along, rather, I'm going to be replacing uh, the outside mm. just with that, like a half block. So we've got a, a bit of a lip outside of the, uh, the pillars. It should look quite nice, I think. Let's go and grab what I'm hoping will be the remaining of the uh, the remainder of the iron bars. I need another. Well, actually, no, this might be enough. I'm going to cancel that then. Oh, no, don't go away. Ah, damn. Uh, yeah, we'll go and have a look. But if that's enough. Because if it is, then that's going to be glorious. Yes. First up, though, we need to... Oh, no. It's still in the right configuration. Perfect. Let's go all the way across. This is looking very nice, okay. Savak. Thank you very much. Mm. I'm hopeful that it'll work well, too. It won't just look nice, but it'll work nice. Could have had a half block running along there. Is, but is it going to be like a I ramp going so down onto here and then we park on top of it? Or? We park on top and don't bring the ramp down. Mm -hmm. um, like we, we don't ever bring the vehicles into the courtyard. The yeah. vehicles stay up on that ramp. No, no, I mean more like a ramp just on this little step here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That is the plan. Here we want the iron bars. I should be able to point based on the position of these ones. There we go. Yep, we have enough. Oh, now that could have caused me to place that in the wrong place, and then I would have been furious with myself. There we go. Ramps complete. Uh, sorry, um, grills complete. So this will be... We'll park above and should be able to access the inventories from below through the iron bars. Mm -hmm. I'm really hopeful that that works out. If it doesn't, it still looks good, so I'm I'm okay with that, but... If, <laughs> I will be annoyed with myself if that doesn't work out quite the way I would hope. Um, let's grab so are the in inventories going to be at floor level or a little higher than that? or? Uh, what do you mean, the inventories? You... you were you going to put boxes below? Yeah, yeah. There'll bars? be a, a an aperture going down with bars again that we can immediately move uh, our inventory down into the the lower part of the base via that. At least that is the hope. That is the hope. Yeah. So we kind of almost need to dig a lower part of the base. We need to dig out the crawl space as well then. Because at the moment oh, yeah. I'm digging right down in the low part of the base. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't need to get to that just yet. Yeah. There we go. Now, I don't believe there is a okay. corner section, unfortunately. Because all the flagstone poles are centered. Yeah, I mean... This one's centered in the tile, but this one is centered along a face, so it wouldn't work for us. It's quite quite a shame. Yeah, because you've got Ooh, the quarter SCTR. Actually. Yeah, let's make these. These might work. Let's have a look. No, they are centered. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. As you said, yeah. Oh well, I'll scrap them. I shouldn't have 
bothered making all of those, given that. But how? What's a flagstone pole? Is that like higher? Uh, it's uh, once again, it, it's centered, I believe. I, yeah. I, I could be wrong. That could be on the edge, but either way, it doesn't really give us the effect that we're looking for. But this does. So I'm happy with that. Okay. And we can do the same can I park my bike up there yet? Uh, I haven't done the uh, the ramp coming in yet, but very soon, yeah. Okay. Easily before Horde Night, we'll be able to do that. That's well cool. That is the that is the hope. Is that we'll have all of this done by Horde Night. We can park the, the, the vehicles in the base. Out of harm's way. Yeah, indeed. All I want to do is just go up the ramp and go wee over the top of the drawbridge. <laughs> yeah, I think this may be good enough. It almost would have looked better if I'd actually had that as a single follow I don't know. Oh, it's a bit hard to say. A bit hard to say. Alright, I need to get up on top and create the ramp going in. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the bum to do because I'm going to have to pick this down. But uh, Do I have mods on this? I do. Okay, well, at least you've got that. Okay, this is going to take me a while. If you'd like to I'll hop over and, and uh, yeah, make sure you put the drawbridge back up though. Thank you. I will. So what are we doing? is a pro at this. Picking out the just only this edge. The, only the ones that are in line with, with the, the drawbridge, so that you need a ramp there. there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna need four wedge tips. And four wedges. And those can go. Join you. Like that. But then, once this is done, yeah, we will be able to bring our bikes in. Finally. Yay! There you go. One, two, three, four. I think with that, we're in a pretty good position, aren't we? Oh. Oops. It's okay. We can upgrade all of that to concrete if we want to. Eventually, it should all be upgraded to concrete. Let's be realistic. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. It's the problem with two people upgrading the same thing. Yeah. But that's fine. Um, I think perhaps having... I could put the lip all the way around if I wanted to at this point, so, but I think that's good enough. Let's go ahead and get grab the bikes. Mm-hmm. And gosh, it's getting on as well. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to want to try and get everything set up if we can. Would you like uh, like the honor of going up first? No, you should go up first because it's your you oh, did all you. the work on it. Very kind of you. Oh, does struggle a little bit getting up over there. Now, parking in here is going to be a bit awkward. Gonna, oh, How are we it's going to be... We want to park, like, one bike on each bit. I was more rotating around. But what we should probably do is come up here and reverse. Reverse parking up here. There we go. In the future. But, uh, in fact, let me test it. Let me see if I can bring it up this ramp in reverse parking. I mean, it's a shallow ramp, so there should be a decent chance of us pulling this off. Oh, it really struggles. No. No, it's not going to be a, a reverse park job, unfortunately. But that being said, reversing back out shouldn't be an issue, actually. Yeah. Because that's only a tiny ramp to reverse up. So, yeah, that should work. Okay. And then, donk. Gate closed. I can make a lip around here so we don't accidentally drive off the edge. 
Can that might be I a good idea, it? actually. Yes, perfect. I can. I can get on it from down below. Magic! I managed to terminate the style through the bars. Truly amazing. There you go. Excellent. We now have our vehicles safe and sound indoors. That is definitely witches outside dying. I can't uh, access my bike from here. I swear it's um, upright. I can't find the place. Speak spot to hit E. Then. Can you access it now? Should be yes. straight up through the bars. Yeah. Ah, okay. They have to be over oh, on that side. That's interesting. That might make cars a real problem then. Mm. Hello. Don't think we need to deal with you right now. Too late, I suppose. Okay. She's down. I don't want to deal with her. She has already summoned some pals, but. Yeah, we'll deal with her friends. You'll kill yourself on the bars, no doubt. One. Don't think. Oh no, I did kill you. Okay, fair enough. I need to repair some of the concrete out here. Okay, well done, mate. Yeah, we do have a bit of a, an infestation right now. Already a small one. You hear them breaking my bars, though. They're most likely. Anyone else down there? Hello. Can you stop wrecking my base? Nice work, you know. Thank you. Right, how much time we got? Oh, scarcely enough, but... Right, that's all my concrete gun. Uh, nice. It'll do. Let's uh, go ahead and repair this as much as I can. Come yeah, on. There we are. Actually, that's quite cool with the bikes lying on the the thing. It'll look even better when the concrete's all dried out and same yeah. color and stuff. Well, it's coming along. Definitely yeah. coming along. Okay, now it's time for us to start arranging our inventories and prepare for the whole night. That's all that remains. There's maybe some painkillers, I think. Uh, I'm going to drop off my um, building tools. I don't need my, my pickaxe. I don't... Well, realistically, I don't need my fire axe either. Don't need my shovel. Um, don't need my wrench. Drop off all of the concrete mix and the likes. Cobblestones I could keep on me if I wanted to take care of... Um, medical bandage. Regular bandages on the top bar. Painkillers are a very uh, emergency use item, so I'm not going to carry those around. And drop this off. Robo stew, I should eat beforehand. The water being on my hot bar is important because it means that I can um, rapidly increase my stamina regen. Um, are you going to be using a shotgun, she lab? No. Are you going to use any other kind of weapon? AK-47 and a pistol. Okay. I also you have pipe bombs, ammo. but I don't need, know what to do with them. I've got 68 I, pistol ammo and almost and 119 for the AK, so I should be alright. I'm going to drop you another 77 pistol ammo then, since that is your secondary Thanks. weapon. I'm not going to give you my primary ammo, but um, I'll take 250 shells from a shotgun. If I'm needing more than that, then something terrible has gone wrong. Um, shotgun choke. I'll pop that on the shotgun, sure. Uh, tightens the shotgun spread. Yes, please. I will also color the shotgun. Oh, I would. Um, the mollies. I'm going to take 15 of those. So that should actually be in the ammo chest. But, um, grab 20 molotovs. I'm not going to play with the pipe bomb bombs. They're a little bit too easy to uh, to break. Right. Because they actually cause... Uh, block block damage. damage, I believe. I they could be wrong about 10 that. ten block damage for three hundred and ten enemy damage, though. Oh. And we've got some really, really reinforced walls. 
Yeah, in that case, maybe bringing that along would be a wise move. Um, the shotgun's my second. Uh, see, this is a tough one. If I'm using the medical bandages, much like, like me using the painkillers, that's something I will use sparingly and from a safe position. All right, we've got. I've got 188 um, iron arrows. Let's make me another. We need to make a move. We do, yeah. We haven't got much. Especially me, because I've got further to run. All right, Sheila, do you need steel crossbows? Bolts. Ste um, well, I could. I've got enough. I've got 150. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's not a problem then. I'll leave the, the arrows in there for now. Um, did you want any more 7.62 um, ammo? Um, yeah, if it's going begging, yes, but I don't need it. Well, I mean, there's 73 it. in here. I mean, it's all bring it over to you. Okay, where are you? Just down there? Yeah, I'll bring, I'll bring it to you in your base as well. Okay. I think I've got everything else I need. Okay, I'm going to gobble down some hobos to you. Make sure that my uh, hydration is good. Gonna drink some tea. Use that. And there we go. And I think I'm about as well equipped as I'm gonna be. Right, I'm yep. bringing her over to you now. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, oh, this base looks amazing. It's I'm thoroughly there, impressed. It, it is yeah. getting there. I'm glad we were able to rescue it after that uh, second horde night. Was yeah. it second or third? I don't remember, but yeah, that horde night. Um, third, I think it was. There it goes. It's in your. Uh, Got it. Thank in you. In your your chest there. All right. Things are looking good. Most of my base is sorted with uh, with cement, but I do need to put a little bit more effort into it here and there. Oh, there's one thing. That, one more thing I wanted to do. What? Don't need my military military helmet on right now. I want my uh, sorry, my learning goggles. I want my night vision. Ah. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to get as much experience without, but that's pretty awesome. Let's be honest. Mind you, it might be a bit much here, but no, I think that's good. There we go. Turn off. Turn on my headlight if I want. And everything is then blazingly bright. Okay, with that in mind, I don't think I need the, the uh, candles in here. Perhaps I should put them outside so she can see me better. Okay. Just one minute. Thank you. One minute. There you go. She has got a little bit of better sight for me. And we are going night vision. Not then. Ooh, a radiated to start. Yeah, we've got radiated spiders all over the place. Oof. There was one last thing I wanted to do. It's too late now. I was going to put some down some uh, metal spikes out there. Just to mess with them. So if they tried to make a jump for me, they'd fall into the pit. Uh, they'd fall into the metal spikes. Oh gosh, a dog got in here. and it's it, it's like... In the, in the middle. You okay? It came in through my side. Yeah, are you okay though? Yeah, I'm fine. It just ran straight past me. I've got no idea. It's in the middle. It's in the bar. Uh, it's only downstairs. Yeah, it's, in in, it's in. Yeah, it's in the courtyard. Okay. That's it. Oh, That's it. Dead. Stupid spider. You know what? Let me uh, make this a little bit better. Um... There we go. That'll make things hurt a little bit for him. Once they try to get over there, they're gonna set themselves up. Well, actually, no, that doesn't last as long as I thought it did. I've got basically nothing happening on my side. Well, I'd say that in a radiated zone as well. Still alive. 
My top priority to eliminate right now. My second priority. Don't want to deal with the radiator because I can avoid it. One more on my way. Wait a second. Did I grab? Yeah, I did grab a shotgun. I was very worried that I picked up a hunting rifle then. Oh wow! Managed to pop on a radiator's head. First hit. Not bad. Nice. Always nice when that happens. How are you doing? All right. I've got one irradiated spider that's around here and I can't really get it because there's so many, uh, but it hasn't managed to jump across. Okay. That's a bit outside my range to really do any use for you. Is there anything right. else coming? I've got a dog. That's about it. Damn. I'm going to try and draw them out a little bit more toward me. But it looks like you've got the lion's share of the uh, Zeds right now. They must be approaching from your direction. So for That's the fine. I'm part, getting through them. It's just taking a little time. I'm going to the spider over there. <laughs> oh, that was good. That felt fantastically satisfying. Yeah, I'm just not getting much act action over here. Seems that they are spawning far more on your side than mine. Oh, he did like a hunting weapon. Ah, uh, he hasn't the ammo for it. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh. Got them spawning here and there, but just not many of them. I think he might still be alive. How's it going, Sheila? Pretty well. Let us know what's happening. Um, I'm just shooting things. There are many, many irradiators. There's an irradiated like biker here. There's lots of dogs. I'm starting to think it may be worth my time coming over to help you over there. The minute got... you do, they'll probably come over your side, won't they? Probably, but right you now there's like know nothing it. for me to do. Yeah, they are spawning on my side, it's just they're running to yours. So I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna start attacking them from the side. Oh, hello. How did you end up here? Don't appreciate it. Go away. How it ended up on here is worrying. You're having fun with your Molotovs, sir. I am. That was a terrible throw. It's like suddenly everything is on fire. Yes. Fire. The best state for a zombie to be. So, with my uh, with my night visions on, that's kind of painful to watch. Yep. Okay. I'll stop playing. <laughs> uh, right, because we are effectively losing EXP by doing that. But fire is a great uh, equalizer for. Ooh, come on, smack in the bit, club. I need that. Headshots on me. There you go. You know you were saying that you we're not getting enough radiators for a rad remover to be worth it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You're Everything is green. Yeah. And a lot of them are down at the floor there. So I'm just gonna set them on fire as they fall. I'm seeing okay right now. Got a couple of uh yeah, I think I put them down. Yeah, we had a couple of uh, radiated trying to wreck the uh, defenses down the bottom. Could use a shotgun from a lot closer. I wonder if this would be worth it. Hold it up. Only assume this is going to be some light. 
damage. Ring, probably not, but close up, definitely. That white is worrying. There you go. Okay. We managed to get to one block down below, but not much. I think they're going for that block anyway, because we've already taken out the... the uh... Hello. We've taken well, out the... that was the point of giving them different routes, wasn't it? Yeah, the ladder that was there. So that shouldn't be a cause of their um, concern at this point. Uh, I'm going to use pain for that. We need a drink straight after it, but... Is that... I'm gonna drop down another molly. Ow, did I set myself on fire? You just set me on fire! Wow, okay, that happened a lot closer than I was expecting. The range on the mollies is horrible. <laughs> uh, I'm still on fire. Drink of water. Oh, yeah, of course. I didn't think drinking water would help, but yeah. It yeah, it does. Nice That's what okay. it told me to do. So I did I it. And then I attention. extinguished yeah. myself, and it was lovely. Yeah. I was like, ah. Heading my way back up now. But yeah, I was expecting that to be on the ground, not for the flames to reach all the way back up to us, but lesson learned, I suppose. I'll grab myself a drink. We've got a couple that have made it in. They have bust through. They bust through the wall Pursuing into the wall. middle, did they? Yeah, on your side. Right where the... Um, oh yeah, I see. Down across. Ooh, they're yeah, running around to your down. side. Yeah, they're trying to get to me now. These are probably the ones that were hunting me. The moment I went downstairs, it blocked them from getting to me, so they're now yeah. looking for alternate routes. Yeah, it looks like we've got a lot of them over here. And I'm not going to give up on mollies yet! There we go. I should uh, mess with their ability to heal for a bit. You okay over there? Mm-hmm. Just a couple that I needed to take out. And now I'm coming. Okay, yeah. Using oh, yeah, they vision, seem to be coming around to fire. your side now. Totally not good. So I'll just... Let me know if you need a hand. But okay. I'm just going to take out the stragglers on my side. Hello. There go. That is why we keep a loaded shotgun handy. <laughs> yeah, I need to get spikes along that, that uh, pit there. Yeah. The irradiated spiders can jump six tiles, whereas the regular ones can only jump four. So they'll uh... take the jumps that the others won't bother going for. That makes sense. I've taken a lot of damage this fight. This is first aid bandage. There we go. That'll uh, restore some of Max's health. How's it going on your side? I can see quite a lot of irradiators and things. Do you want yeah, me to Yeah, they are starting to build over, up a little bit. Give you a hand? Only if you've got nothing to do on your side. There's nothing on my side, so... Then in, by all means. As long as the doors into the base are closed. Why you got a spider? You got it? There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Get in get inside. You can shoot over my head. Let me know if you need more light though. I can hey, put the camera. Can you crouch? Back. I am. The crouching in this game. Ah, it was my fault. I tried to move to the side for you. Oh it's my, my god, I am so sorry. No, 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 it's, it's my fault. You said, can I crouch? I showed you that I was, and then I tried to move to the side so that you could have a better thing. I should have warned you that I was doing it. Yeah. Oh, I feel so awful. No, 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 at all. It's my fault. But I shot you in there. <laughs> yeah, because I, I didn't tell you I was going to move to the side. 
I encouraged you to come in, and I told you to shoot over my head. That's true, actually. You Entirely did tell fault. me to do everything. Entirely <laughs> my fault, so not on you at all. I've been doing awfully this sort of night. Set you on fire. <laughs> Set myself on fire. <laughs> My goodness. I've been having to use healing pots like nobody's business. I have a sprained leg from somewhere. You sprained that earlier. I'm gonna throw a pipe bomb. Okay, where is it? Seeing where these pipe bombs are going, probably. they are probably bouncing. Okay, more time, then. Oh, I probably have the light one, don't I? Yeah, I do. Oh, hello, spider. Funnily enough, you have to light your. Uh, your, your pipe, pipe bomb bombs. before you throw them. The reason why it suddenly went off is because the mollies are lit automatically, so I was thinking it was the same account. But the reason why the pipe bomb went off in the end is because uh, I had set it on fire. It, like, bounced on the floor somewhere. And I set it on fire with the Molotov cocktail. And so it detonated them. I'm going to check out my side. Yep, sure. Does sound like there's a lot of stuff going on over there. Can't seem to grab that for that. Gotta go for these headshots. No, to make there's like the, uh, zero going there. on over there. It's fine. They're all over your side at the moment. Okay. It's like the beginning was all my side, and then then it was your side. Headshots where I can, but uh, the rads are definitely keeping them going. I can throw in another molly just to uh, negate their ability to regenerate. Makes it a lot harder to shoot them, but. Ah, damn it. Once again. Got out. That's so frustrating that that happens. Because it didn't appear to me that there was anything in the way of the, of the shot. But I'll do it for myself. Another one. There we go. That should keep him on fire for a bit. Mind you, level 77. Not bad. Whites, the radiated whites are going to be awful to kill. Any other way than headshots. Yeah. Simply because whites themselves have. Oh, come in. Got it. It's dead. Yeah, got it. You ready? Right. Whites have so much health naturally and have a high regeneration anyway that when you add on to that with uh, the feral, uh, sorry, the awaited status, it just makes them absolute tanks. Quite a lot of interesting characters now. Oh, 
Oh, yes, that was narrow in the head. vision okay? Yeah, it's fine. Yep. They have done a lot of damage to my, uh, to my defenses. Though that honestly could have been the several pipe bombs that all went off at once. That could have been. Loading again. Yeah, I disapprove of that, mates. Okay. I'm going to try once more to do this well. So I'm going to stand well over here for this one. Bonk. There we go. But that fire goes so high up. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Drop it on that one. There we go. Grab another room. Okay, let's keep the, those guys uh, cooking for now. Because sometimes I'm getting headshots. I'm just not getting the boom headshot. Yeah. We'll keep going until we've killed all the zombies around. Right now, I strongly suspect the only thing I'm doing is keeping their health from regenerating much whilst you're going for the headshots. Yeah. Granted, a shotgun to the face is quite powerful. My lord, my aim is all off. Me too. Is that you done? Yes. Another one done. Switching to pistol. Just gonna go for the headshots now. There's another one down. Mm -hmm. I think, no, it's down. Is that it? Is that it? Check the base. Think we may have gotten through. Yeah. Okay, that was the fifth horde night covered. We took a chunk of damage to the base there. They managed to yeah. burrow through quite a lot of blocks. Quite a lot of blocks, actually. They only made one hole that I can see. A lot of the concrete on my side has been damaged. Mm -hmm. But uh, one of the wall sections, they managed to barrel through two parts of it. They didn't breach, but they, they did take out a one by two tall. Yeah, um, they breached aperture. on my side, but it doesn't have any concrete on my side on that yeah. bit. So. Yeah, they, they, it looks like they hit the concrete and then stopped on mine. They got through one cobble on this side and a lot of spikes. We're going to have a fair bit of repairs to do. But overall, and they got through, wow, they got through an actual whole concrete block on this side. Um, yeah, this breach here. Okay, we'll get that fixed. Yeah. We now know where they've the been going. Is, yeah, it's not a huge thing, you know. Oh, yeah. huge, it's not like they took down the whole wall or anything or it collapsed. Or anything I'm like so that. sorry for, for shimmying in front of your, your shot, though. There oh, is okay. the problem with the the, uh, the smaller areas that we're fighting in. Yeah, but and also because we've oh, designed it for like individuals and, and yeah. then they all came from one side and then the other, you know? Yeah. Didn't have any uh, vultures this time. Oh, there's a witch. No, that was good. Okay. No cops either. That was a terrible shot. I wonder did we did so poorly. Uh, no, not, not a one. Okay, so next episode is largely going to be repairs. Possibly a little bit of redesign here and there to uh, enhance the defensive qualities of the base. But then we're going to be returning to uh, gathering and uh, questing, no doubt. Do you mm -hmm. have any particular plans, Sheila? Um, no, I'm kind of thinking that it might be cool to like get some bars like so we can shoot down around the base if things do sort of get like witches and things like that. Yeah. Well, we can definitely try. We can definitely do that. But that's going to be it for us. So until next time, as always, take care, everyone. And keep being awesome.